Hi. Today we're going to take a look at the AMD W3100 graphics card. Now, the W3100 came out some time ago. I actually have my uh, the tech power up, CPU-Z, here you can see. It was released in 2017. And this card actually was given to me by AMD. Someone in marketing sent it off to me because I do videos for CAD. And... Uh, and I used it for years. It's actually, it was a very good card. Now it has four gigabytes of RAM, 128 bus bandwidth. Uh, if we look it up here, we can see it has uh, 512 cores. And as you can see, the recommended gaming resolution, 1600 by 900. And as always, this seems to be pretty darn accurate, um, what was provided by CPU-Z. But anyhow, you can see it's four gigabytes of D GDDR4. Five, and it uses the TDP here says 65 watts. I've seen 50 in the past, so I'm not sure. Uh, that's that's a little high for a, a small graphics card. Now this would a small form factor, but let's take a look at um, some of the benchmarks that I managed to get. All right, so this was. Um, here. Now this was uh, today and uh, you can see with a uh, 1920 by 1080 set to high the average frames per second were nine or just over nine. Not good for gaming for sure. Now this was 900 by 1600 set to low and we're at about 21 frames per second which again some people might say that's in the realm but I, didn't, I don't feel that way. Um, and, and that's actually from a different card there. All right. And so basically, it, it's not really playable very well on anything above 900. But let's take a look at some CAD applications here. And the CAD applications, like in the case AutoCAD, um, Again, just fine. It's very fluid, very fast. You're not going to have any issues with this. Inventor, same way. Very fluid, very fast. Um, it, it, fast is a relative term. Like, you're not going to, yeah, of course, a brand new card is going to be much faster. The W6400 that I reviewed a couple days ago is considerably faster than this. It's, it's probably twice as fast, if not more. But I just want to show you some of the, uh, the CAD systems that they that run very well on. And so here we have Creo version 8. And again, no issues. I didn't experience any artifacting ever. It's actually been a, quite a very good card over the years. And so that's about it. Again, I just keep these very short. I'm not trying to put a lot of information in. They, they all seem to be working pretty well. This is running with Windows 11 on the 4K monitor. And that sums up this graphics card.